<laughs> these are all the books that need to find impossible homes somewhere. Um, but on this bookshelf, I do have pretty much this whole shelf has room <laughs> because over here, this was like the three books of my April TBR. It's been so long since I've been here that I wanted to read, but that I just didn't take with me when I left. So they're not really supposed to be here. This is a thing of bookmarks, and then these are just random books that I also need to find homes for. So, um, also within this, I have these two books that I'm currently reading, so they don't really need to go anywhere, but I want to make my July TBR, and then I also wanted to pick, like, either a book of poetry or a different kind of short book or something like that that I could, like, read a little bit of every day, um, and then kind of finish it over a longer period of time instead of reading it all one day. So, for example, like, reading a poem every day or reading, like, a chapter or something every day, so I'm gonna try and find something like that in here as well. So, this is gonna take a really long time. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, I think I just want to see if I can get everything to fit, which I don't think it will, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, and then if it doesn't all fit, I'm gonna try and rearrange some stuff. Okay. Classics. This is a nightmare. What have I done? Emily Dickinson, where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? So this is like a modern classic. But do I want to group it with my other Russian classics? This is the problem. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have a shelf. Maybe I should make a whole shelf for modern classics. Okay, the monk, the monk can go up there. I think you're like 1765 or something. Uh, 1796. Okay, well, that's a little off. Eighteen forty five. And then I also have my Penguin English Library editions, and I don't know if I want them to have a whole shelf to themselves. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna say maybe. Maybe. Whoa! The cover art on sorry, I just made a realization. The cover art on the works and days is by Ann Carson. She just... Wow! I did not know that. That makes me so happy. That's crazy. She's so talented. Oh my gosh. Great Expectations is 1860 to 61, I think. We have so many problems. I literally hate like stacking books on top like that, but I think... That's what we're gonna have to do. with my bookshelf basically a really really basic quick one one down <laughs> one down we have um is that binging babish classics 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 
ancient Greece, ancient Greece, ancient Rome, and then adult uh, fiction. Then this bookshelf, we've got very strange mythology retellings, um, children's, uh, sci-fi, young adult, young adult, young adult fantasy, like high fantasy, which I don't love the organization of this bookshelf like at all, but it's just because that bookshelf gets extremely full. So, okay, so I think my plan is that I'm going to take out everything from adult fiction and then I'm not going to categorize it alphabetically anymore, but I'm going to organize them by genre. And then I want to maybe see if this bookshelf can hold um, some of the genres kind of thing. Why did I skip? 
this cell. Hello? Okay, so I finally got all of the classics in, um, and modern classics as well, or just what I'm kind of deeming literary fiction or <laughs> quality fiction, I don't know. But now we've got this stack of like horror, thriller, fantasy textbooks, that's fun. Um, and then this one, I ended up putting Greek and Roman mythology retellings up to here on this shelf, and then historical fiction here. So that is what is here for now. I don't really love it, but I don't <laughs> have any more room, so. Um, okay, so now I think I'm gonna put horror and thriller and anything I'm really deeming dark and spooky <laughs> um, in here.
think for this shelf, I'm going to put fantasy up here, or try to, and then I'm going to do sci-fi, maybe move my children's books down here, and then move all the young adult um, down one. So, because my fantasy used to be up here, um, or down, <laughs> down there, but I think I'm going to move it to the top and do like all fantasy, not just high fantasy, so that's the plan. some weird maneuvers but it's okay. In the end I only had to get rid of one book to make space. Uh, I decided to get rid of Ready Player One. I read this years ago and just thought it was okay. Um, I don't think I would ever reread it so it's gonna get donated. Bye. That means that the only things I have left is this huge stack of Norton anthologies to contend with. I do have this little bit of space. I do have some more books that I need to fit in there eventually because I ordered some more. Please, someone stop me. And I also have my currently reading to put back on the shelf. Um, and then I also have these two super random. These are the only two contemporary adult books that I own that aren't like um, modern classics or literary fiction. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I've read The Elegance of the Hedgehog. I haven't read The Elliot Girls, but I think for right now I'm just going to shove them um, right next to the classics because I don't know what else to do with them, but uh, I'm so excited. That took a very long time, but it's done now, which means that I'm going to pick out maybe some sort of a July TBR.